this morning, at one point, Westgate was the mall to go to in Macon. Now, our morning reporter, Wanyu Reese, joins us live from its old location in West Macon to tell you how a realty company out of New York has some pretty big plans to bring new life to that old shopping plaza. Good morning, Wanye. Well, a good Tuesday morning to you, Aaron and Kayla, and you all hit the nail right on the head. Folks that I spoke to out here say that this shopping center used to be filled with cars and so much stuff to do. But today, as you can see, that has definitely changed. But a realty company, they're hoping to come in and change things up, except it's going to be a little outside of what you're used to. Back in the 1960s, the Westgate Shopping Center was the place to be. And even 20 years ago, it was still going strong. Walmart, Home Depot, Burlington, it was, pretty, it was thriving back in the day. By 1975, the Macon Mall opened down the street, a move that stole business from Westgate. And then Presidential Parkway came in the early 2000s. It seemed like the Walmart left and Home Depot went up the road to... Uh, Today, only a few businesses are left at Westgate, but if a New York-based company gets its way, that could change. I think it would be a good thing for, for this area. Bring it up to speed, uh, bring in some, some type of job. Documents from Bibb County Planning and Zoning show Ultimate Realty wants to turn old stores into warehouses while hanging on to existing shops and maybe adding a few more. A spokesman with Ultimate Realty says if approved, they would invest several million dollars into the property. News Terrence Danley is grateful to hear. I get the city back back on the map on this side, the west side, instead of everything going back to the over the North Macon part. Um. The company says the work will not add more traffic to the area. Instead, it will add life to a once booming shopping center. Now, the company, I spoke to them yesterday over the phone, and they said this location was perfect because of its closeness to I-75 and also its proximity to Hartsfield Airport up in Atlanta and also the port in Savannah. So, Aaron and Caitlin, you all have the information about when we'll find out what happens here. Live in Macon, Wanye Reese, 13 at WMAZ News. All right, thank you, Wanye. And as he said, planning and zoning is scheduled to talk about the project at its meeting on Monday, September 9th. And we'll, of course, keep you updated on air and online about any progress made on the project.